Hey YouTube, welcome to Short Simple Solutions. And today, I wanna to show you how I painted the rims on my lawnmower. Now that we got the tire off the rim, we're gonna take a few minutes to clean up the rim. Most of the times when you have a leak around the rim, it's due to rust buildup under the underside of the rim here. So we're gonna take a few minutes to clean that up and paint it and get it looking good. Here I'm using a drill with the wire wheel to remove the rust buildup around the rim. The drill and wire wheel are not the most aggressive rust remover, but is better than trying to remove the rust by hand. Later in the video, I will show a more aggressive way to remove the rust buildup. I forgot to wear my respirator in the first shot, but I highly recommend wearing one. They are not very expensive at the hardware store and could save you from health issues in the future. I am just continuing to remove all the rust around the rim. This rust buildup was causing air leaks between the tire and the rim, thus making my tire go flat, so it is important to make sure that I remove it all. Now we will move to the inside of the rim. I am just using a flathead screwdriver to peel away the loose and flaky layers of paint. This will shortcut the amount of sanding needed to remove all the rust. The layers were very thick and blocked my wire wheel from getting to the rusty metal. Once all the loose paint is peeled, I will again use the wire wheel with the drill to sand away the rust. For the inside of the rim, I will switch out my wire wheel for a cup style brush. This allows me to put vertical pressure on the rim surface. The goal of the wire brush is to remove all the rust and expose just the bare metal. This will help paint adhere to the metal and to last longer. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Just kidding. This is a way to remove rust and paint faster if the drill and wire brush was not fast or strong enough for you. This method uses an angle grinder with a knotted wire wheel designed for use with a grinder. I am using gloves and safety glasses as the grinder wheel commonly breaks off pieces of wire brush and shoots them at you like darts. So please be careful and use personal protection. To clean the surface of the rim, I will use lacquer thinner and clean the entire surface of the rim. This ensures that there is no oil or grease on the rim that will mess up the paint. Next, I will use tape to mask off the valve stem so it doesn't get painted. This would be a good time to replace the valve stem if yours is damaged. I also cover the back side of the valve with tape as well. Now it's time for paint. I'm using Rust-Oleum John Deere Yellow spray paint to match the existing color of the rim. Rust-Oleum does an excellent job with these off-the-shelf colors. They match my existing yellow very well. Be sure to wear a respirator and work in a well-vented area when using spray paint. I'm spraying the inside as well as the outside of the wheel to keep the inside of the wheel from rusting again. After the first coat of paint, I wasn't real happy with how it turned out. There's a couple spots right here where the old paint meets the new paint and it just kind of leaves that little ridge. So I'm going to sand a little bit see if I can get it looking a little better. This time I'm using a 240 grit sanding brush that I got from Amazon with my drill. You could probably use a rougher 120 grit as 240 was a little too smooth for what I needed. I should have done this sanding after the wire wheel to avoid having to spray paint the rim an extra time, but that is why I'm posting this video so you can learn from my mistakes. Now that the sanding is done and the ridges are gone, I will reapply the first layer of paint. It is important to apply additional layers of paint before one hour of the previous layer. If you wait too long, the second layer will bubble on top of the first layer and you have to sand and paint again. I will apply my second and final layer of paint. You will spray this layer a little heavier, but not too heavy where the paint runs. Here's what the rim looked like before, and here's the finished product. Thanks for watching Short Simple Solutions. 